Hi, I'm Dr. Mangesh Kamath. I'm a senior consultant medical oncologist, hemato-oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician. I practice at my own center, Helios Cancer and Hematology Clinics in Bangalore and the Fortis Cancer Institute in Bangalore. Just like in health and disease, diet is a very important of cancer patients' treatment journey. It's very important to know that diet not only plays a role in how the treatment helps the cancer patient, but also improves the experience of a cancer patient. It is very important to know that when a cancer patient is receiving treatment, he or she may not be able to tolerate all the food that are available on this earth. But at the same time, there are certain food items which are to be avoided when a cancer patient is taking, for example, chemotherapy or even after a surgery or during radiation therapy. So this is a very important question that all my patients ask me and I have realized that the answer to this is not to be found in many videos. So this is why I would like to speak to you and try and give you some tips about what could be your diet during your cancer treatment journey. So when it comes to any diet for that matter, the components of a good diet are usually grains. Grains are a source of carbohydrates and vitamins. Then you have the source of protein. It could be pulses only for the vegetarians and meat for the non-vegetarians. For those who eat both vegetarian and non-vegetarian, meat and pulses as a combination is actually a good source of protein. Then we have fruits and vegetables. Not only do they provide fibers, but carbohydrates and all the different vitamins that are needed by the human body. And then we have dairy. So the first thing that I tell cancer patients is try and eat as much as possible cooked food. Do not eat raw food because of the chances of getting infections from raw food. Even if you are eating fruits, try to eat thick skinned fruits such as papaya, watermelon because they are completely protected from infection compared to probably thin skinned fruits such as apple or banana. Now this actually also ensures that they eat probably melons to a large extent which are considered as very healthy source of fibers and carbohydrates along with higher vitamins. Now the second thing I tell patients is try and avoid milk per se but curd uh, you can also have cheese because they are source of calcium and also proteins. Then when it comes to fruits and vegetables, try and have different colored fruits and vegetables as much as possible. Then you may ask me what about sugar, salt, oil and fat? Well, I would summarize the requirement of these items in one sentence, add to taste. Do not over add sugar, do not over add salt, do not over add spices, do not over add oil or butter or all those things because it may not be well digested by you. Eat easy to digest food because eating these simple foods make sure that you don't suffer from any gastritis or dyspepsic symptoms due to which you may feel weird and also uncomfortable during your treatment and have plenty of liquids, water, juices, maybe homemade buttermilk and tender coconut. All these are supposed to help you in washing away the high load of the so-called toxins that could be you know, present in your blood after the cancer cells die during treatment. So make sure that you have a perfectly balanced diet. Try to avoid stale food that is made uh, yesterday food that is brought from the restaurant and try and have the best and most nutritious freshly made homemade food as much as possible.